this week on I'm Inspired Now. No, take your time. Listener. Dear listener, I bring you a new podcast. This is meant to be a bit of tongue in cheek, so I'm trying to be a little bit ridiculous and a little bit silly. I came up with this idea about uh, making the I'm Inspired Now podcast when I was actually talking with one of my best mates, Marco, and my cousin James. So I had come up with a few ideas about some silly podcasts and so forth, and they said, well, this one sounds pretty funny, actually. Um, the podcast is intended to make you jealous. I am a married man with no kids, so I don't have kids, and I don't know if I ever will have kids, so I go to sleep when I want to, I buy stuff when I want to, I go on holidays all the time, and I whinge about stuff constantly. Don't worry, I'm always whinging and I don't have kids. I get to go to sleep when I want to go to sleep. I wake up when I want to. It's pretty good. I'm intending to release this podcast and see how it goes. If people like it, then great. I'll continue it on the Travel Man podcast for now. So if it gets big, then I might move it over to iTunes and it'll have its own little podcast folder or whatever you would call it. I want you to agree with me and disagree with me, so it's okay if you feel pity where I need it. You can laugh about how easy my life is because I don't have kids, and you might be someone with children. Again, this is not meant to be taken seriously unless you want to take it seriously. You're meant to have a laugh, see what a guy and his wife gets up to just in normal normal days, who knows, Let's get on with the podcast. This morning, I woke up at 8.45, and I had a really good sleep. I haven't really been sleeping that well recently, and I've been putting on a little bit of weight. Need to shed some pounds. But it was good to sleep in today. Really liked it. Mandy and I actually planned to go to South Melbourne Market, and it was fun. We picked up fruits and veggies, some meats, fish, And all that type of stuff. We actually bought a whole snapper for dinner, which we will be eating later on. I've had three coffees, so I do feel a bit amped. The breakfast I had, which was actually across the road from the market, was was subpar, very subpar. I didn't really enjoy it. It was just a couple of pieces of bread with a bit of bacon on it, some egg, maybe some sauce. Avocado? Did I mention avocado? I had avocado on it. But it just wasn't that good. I could have made something much better at home. But we went out. It was lovely. It was great. Let's get on to the topic, though. I did something very naughty. Actually, Mandy and I did something very naughty that I would like to have a small chat about. We bought some fragrances. We actually bought three each. So six in total. Although we have been getting into fragrances in the last 12 months or so. Never really used to care or know any of the definitions in relation to fragrances like the dry down and all that. Longevity of fragrances. I wouldn't have known. I didn't care. But now everything's changed. I'm starting to spend my money on fragrances. You know, as well as other stuff like you know, gear for the podcast or more board games, but that can be in another podcast. I'm a board game addict, so I've got hundreds, actually. I spend most of my days now when I do get home from work watching YouTube, because who who watches TV these days? I don't know anyone that watches TV. Actually, I lie. I watch TV in the mornings, and I only watch ABC TV, and that's good. I don't really like watching Sunrise and all those other early morning TV shows. They're just not that very good. But at the moment, I'm listening to this guy or watching this guy called Jeremy Fragrance and this other guy called Cuba No, and they're both on YouTube. So if you have time, go and go and check those guys out if you want to get into perfumes and stuff. 
there's other guys to watch too, but they're just the two that I prefer. Sometimes I have time to clean the house. But usually it's just get home from work, sit down, watch a bit of YouTube, maybe wash some dishes, make sure the house is nice and neat. And that's about it. Then I just wait for the wife to come home and, well, Mandy, and we'll just either buy something, get something out, whatever, go out to dinner. It's pretty nice, actually, not having children. So you're probably wondering what I bought. Well, I'll tell you, I spent a bit of cash. I spent like 400 bucks. That's Aussie dollars, so probably about 60 pounds. I decided that 15 to 20 perfumes that I own are just not enough. So I had to buy three three more. So let's pump that up to 23 perfumes that I own now. The website that I went to is feelingsexy.com.au. I actually went to feelingsexy.com.au to buy my perfumes. It sells a really good range of ladies and men's fragrances. So if you want to go there, you can and just have a look. You'll probably find some stuff that's really cool. Today, I decided, though, to buy one aqua pour homme for men, one Guerlain Le Homme Lom, Lom, ideal for men, and Lacoste Lom for men. I... I would like to know what Lom means. It probably just means for him. I should know that anyway. Uh, when Actually, i got a funny story. When I was in Miami this year, uh, I went to Judy Free. I actually got off the plane and went to Judy Free. But the lady there who said holla to me, I thought I was in Spain or something, she wouldn't allow me to purchase it. For some reason, she just did not allow me to purchase the perfume. Actually, there was a reason. She reckons that because I just got off the plane and I was about to leave Miami Airport and that I wasn't coming to depart Miami Airport, that I was supposed to pay, I get guess, duty-free tax on it. So because I couldn't pay the duty-free tax on it, I couldn't purchase the the perfume or the fragrance. So I could not purchase it. And it's annoying because I really, really, really wanted that Lacoste Lom. So I have been waiting probably a couple of months. And now it's time. So I just bought those perfumes. Mandy bought three for herself as, as well. She actually bought Absolute Oriental. She bought JPG Classic Wonder Woman. Oh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Classic Woman. Her Fresh for Woman. And she bought an Aqua Divinia for women. So that was good. She enjoyed that. If you're wondering, the Loma Lacoste fragrance has a woody, spicy uh, feel to it. That's what it says. It's got top notes of all these fruits and stuff, but it's got a woody, spicy note. Also, oranges, rhubarbs, black pepper, ginger, jasmine, and almond. And... Stuff like that. Amber, vanilla, and musk, and woody notes. Well, that's 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 awesome. I can't wait to get into Lacoste Lom. Bulgari Aqua Por Hom has aromatic aquatic fra- oh aquatic fragrance. That that would be very nice. That might be nice actually when I'm in Taiwan later this year because it's a bit warm in Taiwan. No travel man podcast speak. Okay, B, don't do it, son. Don't do it. Don't talk about it. This is totally different. Ooh, we got mandarin orange and petite grain. Grain, petite grain. Ooh, lavender and cotton. Nice. This is going to be a good one. I can't wait for this marine Bulgari aqua. I can't wait for it. Lom ideal. At Guerlain, Lom ideal. That's the one. What's this smell like? Oh, it's a woody fragrance again. I like woody fragrances. I like a bit of wood. Uh, it's a bit of spice, citruses, rosemary, orange blossom. Bit of orange. I tend to be doing a lot of wood and orange at the moment. Ooh, it's got um, almond and tonka bean. That'd be very nice. All three of those perfumes I cannot wait for. They will be simply delicious on my skin. We just... Uh, we haven't run out of money, if you're wondering. That's actually just a joke. 
as, as if I just spent four hundred dollars and just run out of money. Who does that? Who who would just spend four hundred and something dollars, and that's all they got, and now they got nothing? Come on, that's just stupid. That's just silly. Of course, I've still got money left. I'm planning on buying some other stuff later. Nah, probably not. I have to kind of rein it in sometimes of spending. I mean, people just spend a lot of money and a lot of time on crap as well. I know recently I spent, um, well, maybe it was $50 or so on these Travel Man podcast business cards that are awesome and just sitting here on my desk. I'm sure I'll start handing them out at some stage. They're pretty nice. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen that... uh, I uploaded a picture of them. Be nice if uh, some people liked it. But anyway, doesn't matter. We're not here to talk about the Travel Man podcast. We're here to talk about I'm Inspired Now. So I am intending to bring this out probably weekly or so. Has to be something if I'm inspired now. Even if it's not weekly, it could be monthly, it could be every three months. If I'm inspired to talk about something, then I will talk about it. I don't really want it to be associated with travel. All I want to do is talk about stuff that inspires me. And a lot of this is just tongue in cheek because I just think it's so funny that I get to do whatever I want. And then all my friends and family who have kids can't do what I do. So in a way, I want them to live through me. I want them to know that later on, whenever I want, I'll be starting to make some snapper in the oven. Then I'll probably play a board game with Mandy. I might have a bath. I'm really not sure. But these are things that inspire me. For today, I don't really want this to be a really, really long podcast. And I don't want all the future I'm Inspired Now episodes to be long either. So for now, I just want to keep it short and sweet and not really long. It's probably running at around 11 minutes at the moment, and I'm starting to run out of things to say. So it's probably a good time to just say um, goodbye, but uh, I've also got a cold too. I'm all all clogged up, man. I'm all clogged up. Don't know how I'm going to record any Travel Man podcast interviews. Well, I don't have any due. I lie. Actually, I lie. I've got Marco, my mate, one of my best mates. He's coming on Thursday next week to record a podcast with me for the Travel Man podcast. And that'll be cool. That'll be going up at some stage and I'll be asking him questions. He'll be asking me questions and it'll be really fun. So let's just keep this to 12 minutes or, or something like that. And I will see you guys in the next episode of I'm Inspired Now. Thank you again. That was episode one. And that's about it. Remember to follow me on all the Travel Man stuff because there's nothing nothing more I'd love than if you followed me. Send me an odd little email. doesn't have to be weird. Actually, I prefer it to be weird. Send me a weird email. Send me something that's about travel and weird. Something about traveling in a weird spot. And I might talk about it on I'm Inspired Now. Ta-ta! No! Take your time. You're on the train and you're doing it right. No! Take your time. On the train.
on a train and 